All right, hello and welcome back to my campaign of Let's Play uh, Victoria 2 as Egypt. As you may recall, I'm just finishing up this easy annexation of Ethiopia, where I, you know, got away completely without infamy. That's quite nice, really. Um, so, let's take a look at what else is going on. I've been wanting... I think I might want an alliance with Egypt fairly soon. Or not Egypt, I am Egypt, with Persia. So let's just wait until I can, uh... Get them happy with me. Uh, because Persia will be a great staging ground for what I would like to do next. Alright, alright, let's just kind of run this army out of the way so that, uh... I don't just lose them before I occupy uh, the remaining few provinces. Let's see... yeah, I'll be fine. Now... Okay, U.S. took Texas as they do. Congratulations, USA. And that... Aha, uh -huh, okay, now I can uh, go ahead and make Persia happy. And now, hopefully, when I get another point, they'll be willing to sign an alliance with me that I'll then be able uh, to use as a staging ground for, I'm thinking, so Sindh has, you know, pretty good population here. I mean, they'll get me a, a nice amount of research points. You know, not quite so many as uh, Ethiopia's got, but... Let's take a look at some of our other options, shall we? Like, I know Sokoto, um, at some point I'm going to want to take East Houseland off of them. So, they've got... Does it say how many... Well, about 16,000 here. So I'll say these two together... Or 80,000... About 240,000... Yeah, about 450... So I mean, that's another... that's 500,000 there, which... in just East House of Land, that makes them actually pretty tempting. Um, I'll probably want to get Sindh, Kalat, a bit of Sokoto... How many people are there in Punjab? Yeah, 2.9 million. What I might want to do is go ahead and get Sindh, and then if I get away with Sindh really well, maybe also grab Kalat, and then let my infamy kind of die down a bit, and then go for Punjab, um, before they get in anyone's sphere. That would be great. Let's, let's unpause it, though, and, you know, first things first, finish this war. Fine, fine. Should be over pretty soon. And I might at some point want to, before the end of the year, switch into, uh, into the Liberal Party, because I believe the cost of, uh, what is it? I believe the cost of reforms is in part dependent on, uh, your upper house. So... What we might do is, uh, even after I... Yeah, okay, so... Oh! Didn't notice that one, uh, little province. Let's, let's occupy that as quickly as possible, shall we? And then get... Oh, no, don't get out of the, there that way. Go up that way. Let's not fight if we don't have to. It's just a waste of men. You know, and it could be spending elsewhere. Alright. So, this war end relatively soon. I might want to go ahead and consider, um, already just, you know, starting uh, a justification on Sindh. 
You know, if I get caught early, that's... Oh, I can't yet. I don't have the diplomacy point. <laughs> I always forget about that. Oh, are they just surrendering? Cool. Now, I, uh, I think I'll not extend slavery. Um... I will want to do Muhammad Ali's reforms at some point, but you know, consciousness will will build up on its own. So for now... Mm, not extend slavery. I, I, I don't want those useless slave pops. You know, I want some good useful ones at the moment. So now... Season since since uh, they sent the surrender offer, I'll be able to uh, not have to spend a diplo point on that, and pretty soon I'll be able to begin my justification on Sind. Um, but I now first before I do that, I'm gonna want to ally Persia. Uh, that way, if I get the infamy early, they won't get super mad at me and be unwilling to ally. Just wait for... Oh, they will not accept. Maybe I'll need to make them a bit happier. I could really use... Oh, they will accept now. Cool. Awesome. So, uh... Now their buddy's up with me. And then I'll begin justif justifying my war. Let me look at my factions. Maybe I can get liberals in the upper house and still... But what are their war pol... Yeah... I mean, Cass's belly way slowed down. I really want to make sure I don't get too much infamy, so I think I'll just have to accept... More than likely this reform is... My, for my next reform is gonna be... More expensive than it needs to be. Um, because I would really like to get these first few justifications for really cheap, if I can. So I can, you know, blow through attacking. What's the cap on how many I can hold? Like, up to a year's worth, I believe? Um... I'll just keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't cap out. In the meantime, yeah, my, my clergy focus is going alright. Um, not much else to really do. Let's let's look at my budget a bit. Uh, in the meantime, I can probably lower my stockpile on buying stuff for my troops. That'll be fine. Let's look at my army situation. Can I build a uh, yeah some some infantry from Ethiopia, and then eventually, you know, when I uh. Westernize and get artillery, they can be all proper Egyptian pops, you know, so they're safely behind the front lines. Do I have any irregulars left? Yeah, I've got plenty of irregulars. Um, let's split those off. And for now, just disband. No, you know what? Disband all the irregulars here. In this stack. Um,. I'll wait before the new soldiers arrive, before I delete my entire infantry body. Irregulars are better than nothing. Alright, how are these reforms looking? Still not capped out. Good, good, good. I'm gonna make sure that does not happen. But I would like to hold off on spending the... Oh, I don't think I'll be able to hold off a whole year. I think I'll just have to spend the... Increased cost. Um, and I think what I want... Is... Do I want military construction or... Officer training? I think I'll go with the foreign officer training. Uh you know, get a bit more leadership so I can actually have generals on my armies. Okay, diplomacy. Time to start fabricating on Sind. And hopefully, you know, get, get a bit lucky again. 
Um, but even if I don't, I suppose I can't complain too much. I got away with it completely on my, uh... Ethiopia fabrication. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Almost, you know, getting there. Third of the way there. I think, you know, I'm gonna need to start building a, a few boats to make sure that I, uh... can actually get to the fight. I'll make this my rally point. And make sure I only build transports, you know, down uh, on this side of the Suez, since I obviously can't sail through there yet as much as I would love to. So... Clifford transports... away! And that'll be good. I forget, can I build naval bases? This okay, I can. So, that's something I'm definitely going to want to focus on before too long. Uh, because once I do westernize, I'm definitely going to want to be able to, uh, get some, you know, colonization going. Uh, let's just really hope that I can, uh, buy up these, uh, everything I need for these transports, you know, before it's too late. Okay, yeah, yeah, they're going. That's good. Jeez, am I gonna get a second free justification? If so, Sind usually... yeah, they are allied with Kalat. So... What I might do is, assuming I, I think I can justify fast enough, I'll... After the justification on Sind finishes, also justify on Kalat. Hmm... I'll have to think about it. Maybe on Punjab instead. I mean, it'll be... It'll have to be a separate war, then. The nice thing about justifying on Kalat is uh, they'll jo be, I'll be fighting them anyway. But... Whatever, I think I'll hold off. Grab Punjab, which has, you know, a lot of... Holy shit, I'm gonna get away with it again. That's fucking awesome. So yeah, um... I can now... So now I have to think about it a minute. I mean, it'd be nice to be able to just get both of these in one war. But honestly, Kalat doesn't have a great population. You know, I mean... Yeah, it's got more than, like, Macron, but... I think I'll want to get Sinned and then use that as a stain. Well, I want to start fabricating right away, because... I mean... You know, I'm at zero infamy. So, the sooner I get caught, the sooner that'll start counting down. Oh, decisions, decisions. I think... You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and... Well, let's look at their military power. power. 20. What's that? That's more than I have. So let's not go on Punjab right away, but definitely try to build up so we can beat them. I'll start justifying a conquest on Kalat, and that way <laughs> I can't really complain. I got I got two free justifications. I mean, getting getting caught right away on one of them, I'll I'll live. I mean, if it means that I can uh, use both Cassus Bellies in one war, that'll just be fucking awesome. So once my navy builds up here, I'm going to want to uh, ship my men over to Persia, who will, you know, hopefully be uh, perfectly happy to join in the war too. Um, let's see, just right now, if I were to go ahead and declare on Sindh, would Persia likely join? No. Well, we'll see then. I mean, I don't need them that much, as long as I have military access, which I'm going to go ahead and ask for. Thank you. That's the most important thing. But, you know, they'll have my back as well, just in case I need it. So I know you're mostly depleted irregulars, but get on the boats and land over in Persia. While I build up, now all these infantry are ready. You march to the coast. 
And uh, be ready to do your own little contribution to the war effort. Because I need to make sure I can beat, you know, both of these states. Alright, let's see. Build a few more. Well, no. I'll wait until I can get... I'll keep just the primitive cavalry I have for now. But worry about getting more cav once I uh, can get the ones that are good. How far am I from... Alright, reforms are under politics, annoyingly. I mean, that makes sense normally, but for uncivs, it's like, this is essentially your tech. Alright. Well, go ahead and... Oh, that's... Oh, that's gonna be rough. There's... Lots of attrition up in, uh... I don't have... There's not much supply in a lot of these provinces yet. Well, that's gonna have to just be something I deal with, I guess. Merge these, and... I'll definitely want to make sure I get all my proper infantry into position. And I'll do okay, because I mean... In fact, I should probably... Start equipping my guys pretty soon. Spending a lot on, uh, on buying up stuff for the new infantry, so I'll be okay, I think. Do 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 do. And now the it's really important as an unsiv to kind of like make sure you decide what states you're going to take before you westernize. Because the states that you uh, you take as an unsiv will be full states. Um, whereas a lot of the land that you take off of, you know, your uh, the other the other uncivilized powers, who you're still gonna want to have as your primary target when uh When you westernize, you know, then you'll instead get, uh, colonial provinces. So let's see, when does my Casus Belli on Sind run out? November. Okay, so that means I should have plenty of time. Um... Well, which do I want to declare on first? Let's see. If I declared war on Kalat, would Persia join? Maybe. Um, what if I declared on Sind, because uh, their Casus Belli will expire sooner, and I want to make sure that the war is going, and going my way, uh, so I can add it. But I'll end this episode for here, and get back to you when I start the war.